Good morning, Rich Line, and welcome to RHS News, your sore empowerment tip for the week. Think before you speak. Sometimes we say things that we might regret later. Uh, there's a ski club meeting in room 130 immediately after school in room 130. It will end at 3.30. They will be discussing activities and a service project. Boys basketball is versus Skyview at home. Sophomores are at 3.30. Freshmen and JV are at 5.15 and varsity is at 7 p.m. For your upcoming events, February 10th is the Sweetheart Dance at the Copper Mill. February 13th we have our Blood Drive and February 14th is the Pancake Breakfast. And on February 21st is Moon Shiver. Anyone who is interested in running track this spring, there will be a parent meeting on Thursday, February 8th at 6 p.m. in the lecture hall. I hope each of you got a lifesaver before school from a Hope Squad member. Remember, you can be a lifesaver for a friend or acquaintance by just listening, being kind, and getting help from an adult if needed. Today is Beach Day. Uh, looking, look for a member of the Hope Squad during lunch if you dressed up to get a treat. There's a Hawk Squad main event this Friday, February 9th, at the boys' basketball game versus MC at 7 p.m. Rally towels will be given out, so make sure you wear your Hawk Squad shirt or wristband. And Senior Ski Night is Tuesday, February 13th from 5 to 9 p.m. at Beaver Mountain. Get your permission slip in the main office, turn in your permission slip by the 13th, and talk to a senior class officer for more details. Food and treats for all seniors are available in the ski lodge. It's $12 for your ski pass and $12 for your rentals. This includes dinner. We hope to see all of you there. Are you looking for that special gift for Valentine's or maybe you need a Valentine of your own? Come to the library and you could win a giant bear to give to someone you love or keep for yourself. All you have to do is check out a book. Each time you check out a book from the library, you can enter to win. Prizes will be awarded on Tuesday the 13th. Come find happiness at your library. Junior girls, do you want to learn more about how you can be a part of Girls State where you learn more about your duties, privileges, rights, and responsibilities of citizenship? Those graduating from Girls State receive three polit political science 2920 credits from Weber State University and are considered for numerous scholarship waivers towards Weber State. Sign up in, on Counselor Tara Johnson's door if you're interested in learning more. It's time for another RHSHS riddle. If you know the answer, fill out an answer sheet before Friday in Mr. Scott's room number 116, 216. The riddle is, the Mayflower was the first ship of settlers in the Americas. It had 102 passengers. The second ship didn't have a single person on board. How is this possible? RHSHS meets next Friday in Mr. Scott's room. Tonight and Friday, the exec will be selling Elevate t-shirts. Um, breakfast for February 8th is French toast sticks, cereal, cheese stick, fruit, juice, and milk. And for lunch today, we have turkey, gravy with potatoes, or ham and turkey sandwich with chips. Have a great day, Ridgeline. <laughs> What are your future plans for basketball? Um, well, right now I'm verbally committed to a JC in Washington, uh, Washington State, um, called Highland Community College. So I'll go there for two years and play. Well, I love God and she got a good mind. Oh boy, this is left. Got to take it when it comes. Please don't miss it. Huh? What you about to do with the rock when it's game? So how long have you been playing basketball for? Um, I've been playing basketball since I was seven years old, and I started doing competitively since sixth grade, so. If you could describe Jenks in three words, what would they be? Um, passionate, intense, and very, this isn't one word, but she's very into the game and she cares about the game a lot, so. Be in the face, don't be as stupid, I got it. Huh. Look, shorty, I'm the professor, get the lab cool.